what somatic therapy is, in particular the somatic therapy you're trained in, and how it differs from conventional forms of therapy, just leaving ketamine aside for a few minutes yeah. here, just focusing on that somatic therapy element. Yeah, it's a really important question. And um, I'm excited for this to be entering the psychedelic space more. So when we think about somatic therapy versus traditional talk therapy, what we're doing is we're adding in the language of the body. Now we're talking or in terms of body sensations and impulses as an entire other channel of data that we get to access to harness for the healing process. Whereas, you know, traditional, traditional talk therapy focuses on thoughts and feelings, which are fantastic. We're just adding in more. And I don't know about you, but I can convince myself of just about anything given enough time and <laughs> the echo chamber of my own existence. Mm -hmm. For the body, there's a bit more objectivity for the for, for our experience. I don't mean we're objective in terms of sort of the larger larger reality, but in terms of what we're experiencing for ourselves. We identify with our emotions and our thoughts a lot more strongly than we do our, our sensations, our bodily sensations. And so they can give us a window in to what's really happening underneath the surface that we don't often have access to. Okay, so so a couple points of clarification there. Um, when you say that it's more objective, what you mean in the sense is that how we relate to physical sensations has a little bit more detachment um, from our identity and whatever narratives we have about what things mean than our thoughts and our feelings. And when you respond to that, can you may maybe sort of like isolate what you mean by feelings? Because when I think about feeling, feeling is a, is a physical thing. So maybe you can answer those two questions simultaneously. Yeah, it's great. I, there's there's a ton of great overlap here, but precisely, um, I mean, I would say just about our entire experience is an embodied experience. There's no way for it not to be. You know, I think even if um, you know if you if you if you think in your head quietly, you know, just try to think. I like if you try and speed up the 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 rate at which your mind is thinking you know, under normal circumstances, you can really only do that as fast as your lips and mouth will move, you know, even if you're not using them, right? So I'd say everything has an embodied component here. But what we're talking about in terms of sensations is that um, there are sensations that are emotional in nature and there are sensations that aren't. And this is, this is where we get into the autonomic nervous system having a, re a response to its environment in all moments and we can use that information and when i when i say information i'm saying like yeah tightnesses i mean the language gets really uh <laughs> non-standard but you know like oh my chest feels heavy or um i notice a tightness in my stomach or Ooh, when we when we talk about that, my neck starts to get tight. These are all bits of information for us to access, right? And and as you said, right, they're often devoid from our sense of identity, our sense of narrative in a different way. And so you might be able to say like, no, no, I'm totally good with this situation. I'm totally fine, right? And if you start tuning into your body, just in this moment, what's it like to be you? As you as you're saying that, it's like, well, yeah, there's actually a lot of tightness. Notice like my clavicles are tight, my shoulders are kind of rounding forward. It's like, aha. Well, great. Well, that's just more information for us to work with about what's what what's actually going on in the picture here. Mm -hmm. And so somatic therapy is therapy that includes an awareness or an attention to these more sort of like the physical sensations of your body's experience and response to thoughts and feelings, as well as your thoughts and feelings about whatever it is you're going through presently or as a response to the past? Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm.